What's up guys, I'm CJ, welcome back to the channel. So, if you were unaware why I was gone for a few weeks, you may or may not have noticed. Honestly, I think a lot of people don't know what's going on on YouTube on my channel right now. So, let me give you a little recap. I was only posting one video a week because I have actually been on the way to and then in Oklahoma for like 23 days. I think I left on July 29th and I got back on August 22nd. So we were down, Shannon and I, the woman I work with, we were at the American Gord Horse Youth World Show. And then from there we went, and that was in Oklahoma City. And then from there we went to Tulsa for the NSBA World Show. So if you're not familiar, I train quarter horse show horses. That's my job, and that's that's what I do. So when I leave, that's where I'm going. So they were super successful shows. We did really well. I showed, our kids showed, people showed. It was a good show. So I'm back. I've been kind of just hanging out for the last couple days, meaning to do some productive things, but honestly, I've been pretty much just hanging out, not doing much. But I wanted to come back and do an empties video. I have my giant Sephora bag full of stuff, and I always really enjoy doing empties videos when I come back, because obviously I can only bring so many products with me on the road. I do drive a big tra horse trailer and a big truck, but really you can't pack up the whole skincare shelf, so you're pretty limited, limited to what I'm able to bring. Basically my bag that I bring with me is just a little bit bigger than this, and that is for my toiletries. So everything goes into a bag that's a little bit bigger than that. So one thing that's really fun is because I'm only able to take a certain amount of stuff and my skincare routine is usually pretty simplified because I'm either up at three or four o'clock in the morning and going to bed at midnight to one o'clock, those are my days. That was basically my sleep schedule for the last 23, 22 days. So skincare routine is simplified and the amount of products that I use is pretty simplified. So I do go through things. So I like doing empties after horse shows because I get through things. If there's things I want to get rid of, I take them go through it. If I want to use something up and get rid of it, I do it. So this is a lot of things that were finished up on the road. There's some supplements, I think some hair products, and mostly skincare. So if you like my empties videos, give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so maybe YouTube will tell you that I posted a video or not. I don't know what's going on. Also, this video is going to be a little bit on the long side. So if I can recommend a drink to you, grab yourself a beer, or a vodka, or if you can't drink, don't. But if you can drink, I would, because it's after five here, and if it's not after five there, I'm not going to tell anybody. But let's just get into the video. So I'm going to pull some stuff right off the top. The first thing is... Shiseido Facial Cottons. So these are the cotton pads that you get from Sephora. They're like $10 for 160 or something like that. They're fine. They're really nice cotton pads. I do like other ones better, though. There's some of the ones I like are not easily accessible. My absolute favorite facial cottons are the Hera cotton pads that come with the Cell, Hera Cell Essence. Those ones are really nice. They're really firm, and they do not shed at all. They really don't absorb anything at all, which I really like. These are fine. I do find that if I swipe an exfoliating toner across my face a couple times, it will shed, but it is what it is. Right now I'm using Cosrx ones, and those will work just as well. Next I have... This Vitacost Probiotic 1020. So this is 10 strains and 20 billion microorganisms. This was a really good purchase. I really like these ones. Not only are they very effective, but it was a great price. You have 200 vegetarian capsules in here, and 20 billion is a good amount for me. Anything higher than that can get a little bit scary. Vitacost brand is great quality, and I find them to be really nice. I have a lot of Vitacost brand products in my little bag here. Next we have another supplement. Let's see, I think I have a couple. What if we just do all the supplements right now? Eek. Oh, Jesus, God, how many supplements? Apparently I went through a lot of supplements. Sometimes though I just, I empty other supplements into containers and stuff like that, you know what I mean? All right, so we have another probiotic. This is from Nature's Way. This is probably one that I just picked up at Fred Meyers. This is the Primadophilus Optima. This has 35 billion. So you take one of these a day. I really don't remember anything about this. So it's 14 strains, 35 billion. I don't remember anything. I think it just worked fine. Nothing spectacular. Next we have L-carnitine, this is 500 milligrams, and it's from Whole Foods. This is great for cellular health. There's a lot of research behind it that it aids with cellular aging, so it helps to prevent or like slow down cellular aging. It's also great for producing energy for your muscles and supporting your heart, so that's a really, really important one for me. And then I also take DIM. So DIM, L-carnitine, and L-carnosine work together 
to really help your brain and work kind of at a lot of different spots in your body. I couldn't give you the specific, specific information right now because it's just not on my brain. But I take DIM. DIM is known for helping rid the body of estrogen. It, it helps men and women metabolize estrogen so there's no excess estrogen just floating around in your body, which of course can cause some issues. So I take the Synergy DIM Complex. I think this is this is pretty affordable and I have a couple giant sizes of it. I really, really like this. I also have two containers of the Perfect Supplement Desiccated Liver. I take this kind of in lieu, I take it sometimes with a multivitamin and sometimes I take it in lieu of a multivitamin. This is basically a whole food form of a multivitamin. Liver is supposed to be the most nutrient dense food kind of in the world if I remember correctly. So I take four of these a day. They come from grass-fed, free-range Argentinian cows. It's supposed to be really just, they're in the optimal environment and this has kind of, and this basically has all the vitamins, all the nutrients, all the minerals, kind of everything you need is in the little desiccated liver. These are a great price, you just take four a day. It really helps with energy and just with everything in the body. Another supplement I take for acne is zinc picolinate. The zinc picolinate is the most bioavailable form, so I take 50 milligrams of that. One thing to look into though, if you do take a zinc supplement, look into either getting your blood drawn or just supplement with 2 milligrams of copper. Zinc can cause a deficiency in copper in your body. That's something I found out when I did my micronutrient testing. I knew that before, but I actually was deficient and that would be why. I have a couple Omega supplements here. So this is the Nature's Way Fully Balanced Mega Omega 369 Fish Flex Barrage in Olive. I think these were like buy one get one free so I just went for it. I am actually, when I did my micronutrient testing, I was deficient in omega 3s. So I actually got prescribed the uh, this one, the omega 3 flax oil. So I just take, I try to take an omega supplement both morning and night to keep my levels up. Which they're good for you anyway, so it is what it is. So here, like I was saying, is the Progressive Lad flaxseed oil capsules. This is 100% virgin flaxseed oil which is supposed to be the richest source of omega-3s, and it is 1,000 milligrams, you get 90 capsules in here. I really like these, I take one morning and night. We have a root to turmeric extract curcumin C3 complex, you get uh, 60 capsules in here, I got this from Vitacosta as well. I do try to take turmeric twice a day, every day, I think it's just really great for reducing inflammation in the body and helping with any minor aches and pains. And then the last supplement is the Pericone MD Skin Booster. This is supposed to be like an antioxidant skin booster. Somehow it's supposed to help firm the skin. Um, I'm glad I didn't pay full price for this. I got it at TJ Maxx and I would never pay full price for any Pericone product unless they came out with a surgeon in a bottle that can fix you for a hundred bucks. I might pay for that. But until then, no. So let's go to some hair products. The first one is Andalou Naturals Thousand Roses Complex Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. This is a little one-time use mask. I actually really liked this. I think it was pretty comparable to most hair masks on the market. I think they're all pretty much comparable. There are a few that are standouts, but for the most part. This has you leave it on for three or five minutes, and it just is full of a bunch of different oils and butters and everything. I like this. I think it was like three or four dollars, and I would purchase it again. However, my absolute favorite hair mask is this one by Amika. This is the Triple RX mask. And this primary ingredient for this line is seed buckthorn oil. So I was given this by Kristen from Beauty Meow in one of our beauty swaps. And I actually liked it so much that I picked up the full range. So I have the shampoo, conditioner, and the mask. I use hair masks a little differently though. I don't necessarily use them as masks because my hair is so damaged from bleaching. I use these overnight. So I will put a good amount of the hair mask in my hand, massage it through my hair after I shower, and I leave it overnight. And I find that I get the best results doing it that way. Which honestly, you can do it with any conditioner too, but I do it with a hair mask just for the extra, like, oomph. Next, we have the Pharmacy Green Clean Melt Away Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So I prefer cleansing balms to cleansing oils because I like a thick cleansing balm that I can really massage my face with. It's kind of a multi-purpose cleansing process to me. A, a thicker balm, you can massage your face. I find that you can really work off any SPF and everything and it works stuff out of your skin. I found that this texture was similar to like the Vanilla Co Clean at Zero or the Hamish All Clean Balm. It's not a bad product, I just found that this really turned into a super, super thin oil. So that's one thing about the Sephora bombs, I've yet to find a like heavier weight bomb. I would like to try the Sunday Riley Blue Moon, I've not tried that one yet. 
But this was fine. It did a good job. It's not super expensive. It's accessible. I think most people would like it. I just do like a thicker bomb, so this really isn't one for me. I will not repurchase that. Next we have a sunscreen from one of my favorite sunscreen brands. This is the Ulta MD UV Sport Broad Spectrum SPF 50. So this is a water resistant sunscreen that uses zinc oxide, octinoxate, and optisalate. So it's both a physical and a chemical sunscreen. Uh, the, there is wax in here, so it helps to be a little bit more moisturizing, and it helps to keep the product on your face, helps make it water resistant. I find that this one is great. I can do my full skincare routine. I don't need an oil or a moisturizer. I can go on with this, and I am well moisturized throughout the entire day. It applies really nicely over the top. You can reapply it. It takes a little bit to work into the skin, but it, it's not bad by any means. And I just really, really like this. You uh, L to MD sunscreens you can't go wrong with. There are a bunch of them. I've tried almost all of them at this point in time, and they're all great. I need a second. Okay, I'm ready for more. Here we have the Claire's Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. This is the first one that Wish Trend sent to me, and then I received in the box the regular Supple Preparation Toner. They both work exactly the same way. They are more of a viscous, kind of like bouncy essence toner. I like these because they basically are a full skincare routine in a bottle. You could do a couple layers of this, put on a sunscreen, and you're good for the day. These do provide a lot of hydration, have really nice ingredients, and it's quite affordable. The only difference between the scented and unscented is the unscented does not have the essential oils that help create the fragrance, though I would say that in the scented version, it's really, really light. I honestly wouldn't have told you there was a fragrance. I would have just said it was the smell of skincare. So, to each his own. If you don't like essential oils or you have a problem with essential oils, go with the unscented one. If essential oils don't bother you, then you're probably fine. Next we have the Fresh Black Tea Firming Corset Cream. So like you guys know, I usually have a big stink with Fresh. I think that they can be really deceiving and I don't really care for their products. But the Black Tea line has been continually impressive to me. The first one I really loved was the Black Tea Overnight Mask. And then I loved this Black Tea Corset Cream. It worked really, really well. My pores appeared to be tighter. My skin was well moisturized and it's a nice cream. It really is a good product. One thing I want to look into, and I mentioned this in the Sephora Beauty Insider video, there is the Instant Perfecting Mask, and I wanted to see if I could compare the two of them and maybe use the mask as the moisturizer. This is like $92 for 1 ounce or 1.7 ounces, and then the mask is like $92 for 3.3 ounces. So if they were at all similar, I was going to see if I could maybe get away with using the mask as a moisturizer. I don't see why I couldn't, but I need to look more into that. I do like that. I would repurchase, unfortunately. Ooh, big move. All right, next we have, this one lasts quite a long time, it's the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. So this uses physical and chemical exfoliation. It's quite intense, you leave it on for three to seven minutes. The only reason this one lasts so long for me is because I just don't use it that often. And it's not because I don't like it, I just don't think of it. It's a very good product. If you want an intense exfoliation, use this one. Leave it on for seven minutes, you have to have pretty sturdy skin that's really used to exfoliation. If you're quite sensitive, go to two to three minutes, I think that would be more than enough. And it smells like pumpkin pie. I am a huge fan of Peter Thomas Roth masks, you guys know that by now. So we have another Peter Thomas Roth mask, this is an unfortunate empty. This is my all time favorite Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moor Mud Mask, I freaking love this. If you have not tried this yet, per my re recommendation, go give it a go, there's a couple things I want to tell you. One, put it in the refrigerator, makes the experience so much better, it's super cooling, it's like this really hydrating gel mud consistency. Number two. Do not leave it on for 10 minutes, leave it on for 30 minutes or up to an hour. You can even on, leave it on over an hour. This is a hydrating, purifying mask. So it's going to pull all the shit out of your skin, but it's not going to dry your skin out. It actually does provide a good amount of hydration. That's why I love this mask so much. I have left this mask on for five hours and it really doesn't dry down at all. It doesn't suck your skin dry, doesn't kill your skin. It's a great mask. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Favorite product in Sephora. Next we have the Naruko Appleseed and Tranexamic Acid Night Jelly. This one is for dark spots and line defying. I love all of the Naruko jellies, you really can't go wrong. This one's really good. They have a like something CO2 one that's great for your pores. They have a tea tree one. I think all of the night jellies are really nice. What's nice about these is it's a nice light gel consistency, so it doesn't provide a lot of heft over the top of your face 
but it provides a lot of hydration and it does leave a little bit of a film so you have something on your face when you wake up, which that's what I want from a sleeping mask. Next we have this Mahalo Love Plus Roses Antioxidant Facial Serum. It's an oil. This is basically a rose oil. It was absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous smelling rose oil. I usually don't like the Mahalo products. I have ordered quite a few products from them. I ordered a lot of products from them Valentine's Day two years ago, and they were just kind of unimpressive to me. They're quite expensive, which I understand because it's a natural line, everything's hand done, but it just really wasn't that exciting and the products didn't work that well for me. This was great though. If you could purchase this on its own, I would recommend it, but I don't think they sell this. I think it was just a part of that bundle. So unfortunately, this was a limited edition thing. It was beautiful though, and I do highly recommend it if they ever come out with it again. All right, next we have the Pi Rosehip Bio Regenerate Oil. So this is kind of like, if you take the Trilogy Rosehip Seed Oil and then go up to the next level, that's what this is. It is a beautiful, it's a single oil, rosehip seed oil, really great quality, super effective. I really love it. If you like rosehip seed oil and you have wanted to try kind of a really nice one, this would be the one to go for. I really like it and I would buy it again. Next, we have the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. This was in my Sephora Beauty Insider Sale recommendation video and I did repurchase it. This is basically a camphor, zinc, and sulfur mask and it's the half price version of my preferred mask, which is the Peter Thomas Roth Zinc Sulfur Mask. That one's great for acne, you leave it on for 10 minutes, but I think it's on, it's like $55, you might find it on sale for $47. This one is $28, and I just got it for $22 from the Sephora sale. So I really like this, and it's a, it's a nice mask. It does what I need. Next we have the Red Flower Naturals Essential Omega fresh berry oil. I use this in the sample skincare routine video. It's a really, really lovely antioxidant oil serum kind of product. I loved it as an oil. It was really light. It absorbed really quickly and it kept my face really well moisturized. So I would look into this. I've never used any red flower beauty or red flower nature products before besides this one. I would buy some of them. I'm finally just throwing away this Rhode Isle stem cell lip serum thing. I got it in the little TJ Maxx pack. I hate Rhode Isle, so I'm getting rid of it. This is the Truth Treatment System Peppermint Salicylic Cleanser. So Truth Treatment System reached out to me on Instagram when I did my Truth Treatment review, and they asked if I wanted to give this a try. So this is a little PR sample. It is now released in the full size. I highly recommend it. It's a non-foaming cream cleanser. It has both peppermint oil to give you sort of like a refreshing, clean, tingly feel, and it has salicylic acid. I found this great for shaving. I could put this on, shave my face, and I did not get any, any like zits or uh, ingrown hairs from it, so I really, really like this. The ingredients are very straightforward. It's a really, really great product. Great for oily and acne-prone skin. Next, it wouldn't be an empties without my Andalou Naturals Thousand Roses Rose Floral Toner. All of the Andalou, Andalou Naturals sprays are great. I use this as a mist through my skincare routine. I use it to rehydrate masks. I use it as a toner. You can use it anyway. I've used basically all of them at this point. The Thousand Roses one is still my favorite. Highly recommend it. Next, we have the Truth Treatment System Transdurable C Serum. So this is by far the best vitamin C derivative serum on the market. It is quite expensive. Let's be straightforward. It's one ounce for $199. Quite expensive. However, this uses upwards of 80% of the tetrahexadecal ascorbate, which is starting to be seen as a really strong contender or the strongest contender, contender in the vitamin C derivative world. There's a lot of clinical evidence that it can really get into the deep dermal layers because it is an oil soluble form of vitamin C. It also has some proof to stimulate some collagen. L ascorbic acid can do that as well. However, L ascorbic is significantly less stable and may or may not be able to get into the lower layers of your skin. This can get into lower layers of your skin and it's oil soluble so it helps to penetrate better and the stability of this is unparalleled. It stays stable for so, so long. This is great. I think that if you're going to look into a vitamin C derivative, save the money and splurge on this one. The Peter Thomas Roth one was one that I was considering, but that's $95 and it uses 20% tetrahexadecal ascorbate. If you're going to use a vitamin C derivative for me, the more the better. 80% for $199 or 20% for $95. You're not even getting half the percentage for half the amount of money. So save your money, go for this one. It's a great product. The secondary effect of this is, is it's incredibly healing. You can use this vitamin C on open wounds. He actually was a pharmacist and originally created products for people with open wounds, burns, 
and skin issues. So if you have rosacea or eczema or open wounds or acne scars, this is going to be really great for healing the skin. That's what this whole brand was basically started with. A couple more products. This is a Sephora sheet mask that's from a Korean brand. So this is from Primary Raw, they're a Korean brand, and this is the Do You Two-Step Therapy Mask. So the first step is one of the acid exfoliating kind of cotton swabs. You rub it all over your face, let it sit for a minute. It has AHAs, it has some niacinamide, has some aloe. So it's going to help to exfoliate your face. Then the second step is kind of a milky sheet mask. I really, really like this. So the first step will stimulate and exfoliate. The second step is going to kind of soothe, relax your skin, and provide some nice hydrating, nourishing ingredients. This is kind of like a creamy mask. So this is going to act like a moisturizer and serum and soothing hydrating product all in one. So this is a skincare routine in one thing. So it's a little more expensive, but this is your full skincare routine. So I think it's worth it. I really, really like these. Here we have a TJ Maxx purchase. This is the Algenis Firming and Lifting Eye Gel. I love, love, loved this. I got it for fairly inexpensive at TJ Maxx. I don't know if they still sell this and I don't know what it is full price, but it's really great. It's an eye gel. So it absorbed into your eye into my eyes really effectively, really pumped the air, eye area around, and it was super hydrating. I love this, and I would actually look into purchasing this full price. Another TJ Maxx purchase is this Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. I really like the Moisture Surge line, and this was no exception. It was great. It's a lighter cream consistency, really hydrated the skin. I found that it works super well and it's not that expensive. It's one I would look into purchasing again. Here we have the Biore Perfect Milk SPF 50 plus, PA quadruple plus. Reagan from Indiebu sent this to me. It didn't work for her, so she passed it on. And it's really nice. It's a purely chemical sunscreen, if I remember correctly. It's a milk consistency. It dries down, absorbs really quickly. Super easy reapplication. It's Japanese, I believe. So Japanese Asian sunscreens are known to be some of the best, most advanced, so this was no exception. We have this Natural Logic Rarify Flawless Complexion Serum. I really like this. It's a black oil. So I would use this, one or two pumps of this, mixed with her blemish control oil serum thing. I would do that all over my face at while I was in Oklahoma. Really helped to minimize breakouts and ingrown hairs and all of those skin issues. She sent this to me, but I would purchase it from her. I really, really love the Natural Logic products. And finally, a last product from my sample skincare routine. This is the Soul Wasu Time Treasure Renovating Serum. This is a heavy cream serum. This is from their, I think, most expensive or their upper higher end line. So Solwasu is a luxury brand. This is the higher end of the luxury brand. So I want to say this is like $400, $500. It's very expensive. However, this little tester was amazing. This to me could function as a serum and a moisturizer sort of all in one. It was quite heavy, very moisturizing, and I did, believe it or not, feel like I saw results within a couple days of using this. This is probably a week's worth of product, maybe two weeks worth of product, and it was beautiful. I really, really like it. I really love all the Sawasu products, and this was no exception. So this is something that I don't know if I would ever purchase it, but I would like to look into it, and if I could ever find it for like an eighth of the price, I would pick it up and use it because I loved it. If you have mature skin, you have fine lines and wrinkles, and you have the budget to purchase this, I would really highly recommend looking into this. It was great. So that's it, guys. That's all the products I went through. A lot of them I went through while in Oklahoma. So, what products have you gone through? Are there any products that I went through that you are curious about, that you want to know more about? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.